Hey everyone, this is just a continuation video of a math program that I created. I'm using Python. So in the first video, uh, we created a program where the user would answer one addition problem uh, each time. In this video, we're going to do multiple addition problems at the same time. And we're going to ask the user if they want to play again or if they want to quit. So to get started here, we're going to um, we kind of do similar code to the last video, just a few changes to uh, add the additional um, math problems that we can solve at one time. So we're going to get started with our imports. So we're going to import our random in time. So import random and import time. Next, we're going to get our functions. So we have our first function was math game intro. And uh, we have a, a bunch of print statements here. So just going to get all these print statements down. So print. Hello. Welcome to my math game. And we had a a lot of the time that sleep uh, functions within our game as well. So the, the time sleep just uh, pauses our program. So um, we had three seconds and two seconds um, intervals. So we're just going to get all of that back on our program. So this game will ask you as many addition problems as you would like. All right, this, so we've got the word game, will ask you as many addition problems as you would like. All right, cool. So I'm gonna back this up, all right. Remember to get our time sleep, so we're just going to copy this, control C, just go one down and control V. All right, so next we're going to get a, just an empty line. So backslash inch for our empty line, just to add a space in between. Another time. Uh, well, we actually don't need the next time, but let's get the let's get started so let's print alright so let's get started alright so next we're gonna get another empty line so print Get our single quotes and backslash in. And finally, we're going to get our last print statement within our intro. And our last print statement, it says, Now I will give you a math problem to solve. All right, so now we'll give you a math problem to solve. And let's also add another time. So let's time sleep, time dot sleep three. So three seconds. And next we're going to get our, our second function here, which is going to be our uh, again and again. So again and again. This is just the name of our function. You can name it anything you want. All right. And... We're going to get our print statements again. So print. And we're going to say how many math problems do you want to solve? Question mark. All right. So now we're going to get our variables. So we're going to come down here number of problems equals 
input. Alright, so whatever our user inputs into the system, we're going to save that as our number of problems. And then we're going to, so the number of problems will be a string, and we're going to change it into a, a int, right? So we're going to say problem number of problems equals int number of problems. All right, from there we're going to start our four statements. So, four problems wanted. So, we're going to make this one word problems wanted in range. And we're going to say number of problems. So, remember we, we asked the user how many math problems would they want to do. So, that's going to be our number here. So, number of problems. Get our colon, number equals, and then here is where our random function comes in, kind of like our last program we created, random.randint, and we're going to have, let's say, 1 through 20, enter, so our second variable is going to be number 2, equals random.randint. Int. And we're just going to have the same setup here, 1 through 20. Next, we're going to print. And we're going to ask the user, what is... So, let's do our single quotes just so everything is the same. What is space? And then we're going to get our concatenation here. We're going to add some some uh, strings together so what is plus so we're going to say str that just creates our string into a number so or our number into a string um, so our number into a string and then we're going to plus so what is and then we have to add an additional plus here then another plus str number two then add one more plus and then actually add another line so backspace in just to get a, a good formatting going on so it looks clean on our on our output so enter next we're going to say answer equals input Alright, that says minus, so we need to change that to equals. Alright. And next we're going to say answer equals int answer. Alright, so this is just, um, whenever we get input from the user, it's going to come out as a string, so we're just changing that string input into an integer, so a number. So we're going to say problem equals int number plus. So this is a addition program. And as I said in the last video, you can change that addition symbol to uh, whatever you want the user to solve. So number two, so next, we're going to have our if else statement. So we're going to say if int answer equals problem colon print. We're just going to say, great job, you got it right. Or else, if you didn't get it right, we're just going to say, 
Let's see else. So in our in our last program we just put you failed. So in this one we're gonna put you failed, but we're gonna tell the user what the correct answer is. So we're gonna say you failed. Plus, so you fail, and let's say you fail in the correct answer is, let's get a space here, let's get a Plus, oh. str, so changing our string or our number to a string again. So problem, plus, and then just to get an extra in between line space, we're going to have our backslash in. All right, so now we have to call our program or call our functions. So we're going to call our math game intro. So we're going to call that. And then we're going to add our play again loop from our, our last video. So play again equals yes. Wow, so I'll get our while loop play again equals yes colon print and then we're going to get that extra line space backslash n don't forget our single quotes then we're going to call the again and again function so again and again all right and lastly we're going to print ask the user if they would like to play the game again so do you want to play again and give our users the options of yes or no And then we're going to get that input from the user that play again equals input. All right. So let's just check to see if everything's okay. And let's get our, our extra spray, our extra space here. So backslash n. We're going to control s save that. We're going to build it, compile it. And we, we have an error somewhere. So our function math game intro so we're getting an error here all right so let's see what's going on with this one so we're going to control s save that all right so let's see let's try to figure this out so math game intro let's see All right, let's see if maybe I just typed it wrong. Okay, I didn't type it wrong. So there is a legitimate um, error here. All right, let's see. What did I do wrong? Okay, I didn't put uh, the colon here. Let's put the colon. And I didn't put the colon here as well, so that's important. Let's control S, save that. Let's build again, compile. All right, so it compiled successfully. So now let's run the program. Execute. All right, so we get the hello, welcome to my game. This game will ask you as many addition problems as you would like. Let's get started. Now I'll give you a math problem to solve. How many math problems do you want to solve? Let's say we want to do five. All right, so it starts to access 
the math problem. So what is 15 plus 17? We're going to say 32. All right, good job. And it continues, and it's going to ask you five math problems. And then it's going to ask you if you want to continue to play or, or not. So we're going to start. 3 plus 17 is 20. Uh, 36. 10. 26. All right, so we, we got five math problems. Um, we got them all, right? All right, so next we're going to see, we're going to play again. So do you want to play again? We're going to say yes. And we're going to check to make sure that um, our no button, or if we got something wrong, our L statement worked. So how many math problems do we want to solve this time? Let's say we want to solve three. So we hit three. All right, and we start off with 1 plus 16. Let's go 17. Uh, 7 plus 13 is 20. And this last one we're going to get wrong on purpose just to make sure our program works. Let's say 99, and it says you failed, and the correct answer is 14. So we, we got our answer, our correct answer. It told us what our correct answer is, and it also, our else statement worked, uh, which is here. You failed, and the correct answer is 14, which I uh, mentioned there. So our if else statement functions correctly. And now let's um, end the game. So no, and it exited. All right, so this is just a continuation from the last video I made. Um, in the last video, we can only do one problem at a time. And then the game asks if we wanted to play again or not. But this one, we could... Uh, enter the amount of times we wanted to answer questions before we were asked if we want to play again. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to see more.